In this short demo, we're going to cover the topic of products and menus. Here we are on the products page. So in most cases, a DeliverEct installation always has a point of sale system that DeliverEct is integrating to. So typically the path forward is of course a connection from DeliverEct to the point of sale system. And once that connection is established, DeliverEct will be able to pull any and all product information coming from that point of sale system. The way that information is pulled from the point of sale system is through a sync product mechanism that will bring in the latest and greatest information. So obviously each point of sale has some subtle differences, but uh, generally speaking, all product information comes in from point of sale systems, modifiers, the modifier rules, and as it relates to how many you must choose in order to move past the, the modifier page, the modifier groups, commonly the combos or the meal deals come in to DeliverEct so that once this product information is available within DeliverEct, that will empower you or our customer, of course, to build out and maintain and manage their menus for all of their digital storefronts. Uh, additionally, there is opportunity for in most enterprise grade point of sale systems to associate a single product code, PLU code, um, as a master PLU code for this product. Uh, but have different price points per location or per region. And obviously that also applies different tax rates. The idea of this multi-location management coming from the point of sale system in play empowers our users to leverage a very small amount of menus to manage. If in fact, in other words, if you're using the same menu, same product offerings, it is conceivable that within DeliverEct, you can manage a single menu and regardless of its different price point per location, different tax rate per location, or even channel price. If you want to change prices on Uber, DoorDash, Grubhub specifically for each specific channel per location, we can manage that all and still manage a single menu. It couldn't be any easier to build out and maintain your, your menus. Again, leveraging the same single menu across many channels, what most of our customers do. Point is, is that of course, you're not going into each of the relevant DSPs. You're not going into Uber Merchant Portal, the DoorDash Merchant Portal to develop these menus. You're doing it all directly through DeliverEct. So it couldn't be any easier to maintain. If I wanna add a new product, for example, to an existing menu, you would see on the left-hand side in a normal production system, all the different categories coming from the point of sale system. I can search for those products directly from the search bar here, or I may add it directly here. I can add that product to update my menu. And if I want this change to occur in real time, in other words, this Baja fish taco should be on Uber, DoorDash, Grubhub immediately. I have the capability of doing so by hitting this publish button. And that will allow me or our operators to broadcast this update to my menu across all of my locations. Uh, conceptually with DeliverEct, there is no requirement for you to go into each location, hit publish menu. All of your menus will be associated to the appropriate channels well ahead of an update to that menu. What that means is you can hit publish all active menus and that update will be broadcast across your entire state, whether that be 50 locations, 100 locations, etc. There are certain situations, of course, where you might want to only broadcast an update to a particular location or group of locations. You can see, of course, consistently with DeliverEct, you always have the ability to slice and dice and get to a finite amount. In this case, if I only chose the location Camarillo, it would only update those menus associated with the Camarillo location. So it's very easy to do to broadcast your menus um, and update them as you see fit. Scheduling, of course, there is a concept with many different operations where the menu rotates throughout the day commonly breakfast, lunch, and dinner, we can have and schedule rotating menus so that the appropriate menu is showing to the consumer on all of your digital ordering platforms at the appropriate time. We have that capability through our menu scheduler. You would have the ability to manage and update your opening hours for all of your locations on your third-party platforms. And the same would apply to any one-off holidays, that extreme example or that one-off example of January 1st where you're only open for whatever, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m., you'd be able to set that exception to the rule on the holidays tab. Also worth noting, this tool of menu scheduling is also very helpful if you, for example, are doing a major overhaul of your menu. Uh, that major overhaul of the menu in terms of prices, perhaps, perhaps just a completely different look and feel of a menu. 
goes live on July 1st. You can go ahead and build that menu out and deliver it. Obviously make sure the pricing, everything's correct and schedule that menu to go out on July 1st without having to go into Deliver Act. Uh, the night before, hit a button to make sure it happens. The schedule will take over that, um, that, that, that menu push of that new menu.